let's see the quick demo of function gemma which is just introduced recently and this is a very helpful model to you know filter your function easily in your application and there is a various use cases actually over here you can see and yeah let's moving to start to implementation so before we start implementation i'm especially recommend so this is my channel dot uh, net real world example and here you can see there's a many many learning things over here front end back end as a ai integration you know when he isn't have to create it and also as a full stack developer so you can learn many many things over here so now uh, moving start to implementations so let's open a visual studio code here so let me open in here in this new window and in here let me just create a new folder so that whatever you know sample we have to done so we can just create a newly from the scratch so go to that particular location and just create a new folder let's call a demo okay and just select it okay so now uh, this is just new folder created which does not have anything okay and let me clear everything over here and go to that terminal okay so yeah now your environment is ready so for function gemma actually required you know you have to install your olama local right either olama local or you know docker so i have already in my docker so let me show you what i have olama and in this see uh, this is my container and my olama is running and there's a two way either you can set up in here or in a local that is up to you but yeah i'll using this and if i go to here and particulars you know execution section if i just check you know my olama is how many model is over there so olama and then list okay so if you see over here all that model is i have over here but this is a new model uh, which is google and you know, launch it just function gemma which is listed and which is a very small model okay which can you know helps to you know uh, get that functions so yeah don't worry i'll tell you how we can work this model so yeah so uh, if it is this model is not available simply you have to go in this you know uh, in this year like olama in this olama section olama.com and go to this particular model you are able to see this model is over here and you can then simply download uh, using this command so simply just copy this okay and go to here and you can just paste it and you can just install it so once you install it so you are able to see your model is over here that's it okay so once you've done your thing so now go back to your bs uh, code and in here what i'll do i'll just simply create a one uh, file like first actually we will try this model using uh, python code okay so for python code what i can do i can just simply create a file uh, called is in a tool py right as a python extension and in here i'll just take a one sample over here like simply i can just create uh one of the function which is calling our tools uh, this function uh this model and we will get that uh, function answers like right? there's a couple of functions so for this what need to do i can just simply i can use as uh, this import section so now simply i can just import uh json and just print it and just using the olama and i can use the model okay so this is that actually we have to import that and then set as a model and then once you set a model what i need to do i'll just simply create a one function so so for simplicity what i'll do i'll just create a simple function which is called uh let me just reduce it okay so simply i just create you know one function which is a get get better weather forecast function which can you know if i just ask anything related to weather so this function will call and returning that answer right so just simplest way so i'll just create a one function but uh, if you want to add uh, multiple functions so you can just add it but uh, for understand perspective let me check this function how is working so next actually what i need to do simply i can just create a one message which i just ask okay this is just actually i just ask okay what is that weather in the paris so what will happen in this case i'll just ask this question so this question actually look for that what function actually uh is used you know related to weather so if it is have any weather function so it will call and then get that answer 
so like this way actually this model work okay and just simply I just printed this you know what is the my content and role and then next what I'll do just I'll just call that chat model like this using the chat so this is the chat olama chat so using the chat passing the model and pass that tools and is this tools actually that i'm using this single function so i'll just pass the single function but if you want you can just add a multiple over here so once you add now uh, this is that final step where i can just get that function and get that result so simply i can just use this line of code simply see whatever response message that tool calls okay so i'll just use response message tools calls right and in this tools calls i just store the tools all the tools and just tools actually will be printed over here like what is the name of tools and what is the argument and then here we'll just call that function okay and that argument be passing that function and just get that result over here and same things i shall add that message over here and append that you know tools contain in this message section as well and then finally i'll just call this chat model again this call the model and then message whatever message we just added over here right and everything actually is whatever message actually we are wrapping a function we are wrapping over here so everything will pass as a over here as a message and then finally get that final response over here and this is the report response so let me run this function and see uh, let me run this tool actually so how actually that function work so ensure that your olama is running properly with that model and then you can just simply call either you can use that pip uh, python pip command or you can use that ub up to you but i'll use that ub run and this tool whatever that file actually we just created right so once you just created this file okay so i have not saved it so properly let me save it and then call this function again so here you can able to see uh, that you know package is missing okay so either two way either you can just install their package right so, or in this here or i can just use as a you know, script section over there so let me just copy this over there and yeah that's it okay so i'll just use all the requirement whatever the requirement so this is the requirement and this is the dependencies okay and you can just have to do that and once you're done now you can just try this so that whatever package actually it's properly installed now see the package got installed properly over here and see this is just asking and a question so over here what is the weather in paris so what they have done so they just call this you know weather function and that proper result over here right and this is that actually result of this uh whatever that you know contain and all and then finally result is here actually the weather is paris sunny with this 2020 degree right so that's how actually this you know model is work right if any functions whatever functions you have and you can just search or you can just find you know your contain your prompt so it will just finding that function and based on that function it will just get that answer right so this is a basic basically focus on that function you know uh, filter the function and get that response from that function as well okay so same thing actually we can done with this you know other language as well like for example i have done this in a python right so uh, yeah before that actually moving another language what i will do i'll just show it that create another function and show you to the how actually work that so let me try to add another function over here so for example i'll just create you know another workout function so let me just create another workout function so see again this simple function i just created and this is that exercise and argument this and return this you know description right so this is a workout function and in this workout function what i'll do i'll just call over here instead of this so i can just call my uh, workout message over there so let me call this workout message instead of this and i can just comment this one okay yeah and later on don't worry as of now i'll just using for understanding perspective but yeah later on what i'll do i'll just use you know this as a as a ui because currently i'm not using any ui and all so i'll use as a ui so yeah let me just down in yeah so simply i can just change my message okay and then in here calling my function or that you know first whatever that you know existing function i'll just use that other function as well so for that 
what I can do simply I can just use you know differentiate over here like if it is calling this one so uh, what should we do so here uh, before here so I'll just use that if condition so if this if condition if it is workout right so if it work out so I'll just call my workout function over there and let me just print it out over here yes and in here so i can just use the else condition and that's it okay just you know as, as of now just simplest i just just differentiate you know if i work out functions call this workout function if it is you know uh weather cause else it is calling the weather weather cast function okay and that's it actually i just uh, formatting actually missing the formatting and yeah this is the problem actually and here okay so yeah basically formatting is a very important in python here so yeah let me formatting yeah once you complete your formatting that's it okay so now uh, instead of calling you know uh, my weather information i'm just calling you know about that work step so how can reduce the value fat right so now let me just try to run again and just call that tools again uh, this function okay now see what i just asking over here and what do you say so yeah i can't assist the recommend specific workout return for the weight loss my capability are not limited you know why it is so if you see i everything i just call add add you know another function and all but in here see whatever that our main tools right so i have not mentioned you know there is another function is we have just introduced okay so for here you can you can just add that your multiple function so you can just add that multiple function over here and that's it i think we are good now and let me just call now so it should be work so based on that function now see how nicely actually responds it based on that function so yeah i'll just call this what is the work for work workout for a step reduce function so here just calling my workout function and this is that reduce belly fat exercise and also this is result right step one step two and step three and then finally here that you know some step for workout belly step so yeah step one for reduce belly fat two for two three for three as of now this is a dummy data but yeah and then finally also i recommend with this step two the progressive to step three right so yeah this is cool now nah? so that's why actually this is a newly uh, introduced our google gemini function model so we can call you know any function actually they can that model can easily understand like which function we have to call it right so yeah that is nice so now moving to next step to you know using this gemma model to in our another language like which is called you know typescript so for that typescript actually i'll just create another uh, file over here so yeah let me call this tool.ts file because i'll just use the typescript so this typescript and in here again um, let me just set my uh, things over here so simply i can use that you know olama host and this is that and then you can just specify your um, olama url okay and if it is coming from either olama host or it is coming from your specific url and based on this model you can just display the model okay and once you model now i'll just i have to create a one function so simply i can use this function i get the weather weather forecast function which will get return that function uh information of that weather and then i have to just create a tools and same things also we can do either you can just multiple function and then here you can just use that multiple function you can just define in this tools so we can do that right as of now we'll use the single one and then i'll just create you know one interface message so quickly just create you know one interface message which can have that role contain and tools calls okay and next let me call a chat response message as well right so yeah here i just create a chat response message which will return the chat response and now uh, i need to create you know, one function over here which can call the chat so simply i can use this chat function right which can expected you know that you know message and based on this it will re response this okay 
and here so be simple it is just a you know fetch you know uh, http call right and with the using a, a, a api chat and passing our message and all everything and it will returning that response okay and now now we have to call that final function over here right to uh, get that you know result so here we can just create a main function right and this is our chat chat message what is the message we are want so i'll just want the same things like what is the weather in paris right and in here we get that response using the chat function which we created over here and we'll get that response and this response actually we have to use okay what which function actually it is calling right so now whatever function so we just adding over here as a function result and then decorate all the message over here then finally call this again chat message right this chat message and this chat function and call that message and then finally last thing actually we call this any exception so yeah we can handle this exception either here main dot catch any error that's it so this main function also this call over here and then handle the exception and how we can run it it's simple as like uh, type script run command so yeah either you can just use uh, one one command or either you can use the npx so i'll use that npx so simply you can use that npx tool and hit enter cool now now see i'm getting this uh, result over here prompt and this is which function is called this function is called and this is a function result and then this is a final response right so yeah so basically idea is like whatever your prompt right so they will determine okay which function need to call so they will find fun function and then based on the function they will get that response that's so that model actually exactly uh, want to do over here so yeah i think that pretty much good for here like how we can work with this function gemma gemma model in any gen ai uh, app application right or in your real case uses so yeah this is pretty much good for this session so thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like and like subscribe and share